Hello friends, welcome to Geeky Rabbit. Welcome to our series on JMeter. So while working on JMeter, everybody would had come across the word bean shell. Now the question here is, what is bean shell and why it is used? So going by its definition, bean shell is a small, free, embeddable, embeddable Java source interpreter with object scripting language features written in Java. It executes standard Java statements and expression, but also extends Java into the scripting domain with common scripting languages, context, and syntax. Binshell is therefore the natural scripting language for Java. In this session, we are going to see a few common type of basic Binshell uh, scripting commands, which are used very frequently while working with JMeter. In many of the cases, we need to fetch the response code, response header, as well as the response data from a particular request. So now let us see that how we can capture this using a Binshell scripting. For this to happen, Let's create a HTTP request first. So we have opened the JMeter and let's add a thread group. So after that, let's add a sampler, HTTP sampler. And let's add a listener to view the results. So this is a very basic uh, test plan. So let's have a listener view results tree. Okay, so now if we go to a particular site, just like say www.imdb.com, so you will see the IMDB site is being loaded and you get different uh, options in here. So just copy this request and just take it in our HTTP request. So we'll be hitting the same server. So let's define the protocol in here which is HTTPS, so remove this from here. And as there is no path variable, so let this be blank. So we just hit the IMDB site. So let's save this. So let's save this as being shell one dot GMX. So when we execute this request, we get a response against this request. Now we need to fetch the response code, response header, as well as the response data from the response. So let us quickly run this and let us see that what we need to extract. So this request is successful. And now we have to uh, fetch this response code. Then we have to fetch the response headers. So those will be somewhere here. Just a minute. So this is the request headers. And in response, we are getting this response header. So we'll be fetching this response header as well as this response body. So how to do this? Let us see. So for this, let's add a post processor named as the bean shell post processor to this HTTP request. So post processors are used to process the response once we get it. And preprocessor are used to uh, modify the uh, any content if before sending it to the actual request. So we will add a bean shell processor. So in JMeter, we have a class named CTX as mentioned in here, which will help the latest response from the server. So we need to make an object of this context class to, in order to fetch the required values. But in JMeter, few of the objects such as CTX, where props, brief, data, log, are by default created and we can then use them directly. So let us write down like this. CTX, so let us write down in comment. Sorry, just let me, give me one minute. Okay, so CTX is a context class object and this class sorry already exists in jmeter api so we'll be using this to using this class we can fetch in the response code first so let's down the write, write down the code so we will be fetching response code so write down fetching response code so in order to do this just to see what we are doing so we are doing log info because it will print the response in the particular when we run this program 
and then we'll type in response code so if you see response code is then comma plus then we'll use the ctx then get previous result so this is a particular method and then get response code so one thing to note in here is that we have used the camel casing and it should be taken care of so let's close this and click so in this way we can get the response code so now let us do one thing we will go to tools oh, sorry options and we will see this log viewer so it will add the log viewer in here and it will show all the logs for this particular bean shell post processor so now let us save this and quickly run this to see what happens so when you will run you will see the http request has been ran and now you are getting the expected response if you see in here the response is in here and now if you go to our bean shell post processor so we have printed this out response code is and it will fetch the response code from this http request that is 200 and it should be printed so if you go in here you can see it has printed in response code is 200 so in this way you can get the response code now in similar way we will be fetching the response headers and the body so let us write it down quickly this is for headers and just write in fetching request body so let us copy this command we have to just change the method so now here we will be getting the response header so just write in response header r get previous result and now here we have to write get response headers so just replace this code by headers okay and now in the same manner write down the code for fetching the body so we will copy this and we enter in here so response body is so it is get previous result and we'll get get response data but we have to write it as get response data but as a string so when you will use this then only you will get the request body so now just quickly clear this out and just check whatever we are getting so let us run this and just see where if it is run okay so now the request has been run and now if you go in here you will see in here that first of all it printed the response code then it printed the response header that are exactly the same which we got with our request so if you can verify that if you want to verify see in here these are the response and if you go to the response you'll see the response headers so if you compare this these are the same so these are the same ones and now if you compare the body so the whole body is printed in here so just go down a bit and you can see the whole body has been printed out so you can read out from your response body is doc type html and the whole html document is being printed in here so in this way using the bean shell scripting you can uh, get the response code response header as well as body so now let us print all this information in the jmeter console so for doing this we will have to use the system out print ln command so just do one thing go in here and print uh, type in system dot out dot print ln and just copy this as it is so just do one thing curly braces and 
and just copy this as it is so it will print the response code in the jmeter console so just a minute we will write it down we will have to take it till here only just a minute we will write it down so response code r so we have to write from here so just not the login info just we have to take this part control c just enter so we are only printing the response code in the same manner just copy this system out print ln and go in save in here and again in here so just replace this response header code and replace it with this okay perfect and now this response body in here okay so now just close this so we didn't copy this okay now it's perfect so now let's just see what happens so it will be printed in the log viewer as well as this jmeter console so right now there is nothing printed in here right so once you run this now just see what happens just wait for it to finish okay so request ran successfully and in jmeter if you can see the same thing is being printed in here so the whole response is being printed in here so you can see the response code is 200 that is being printed the response headers are printed and now if we go a little bit down you will see the whole response is being printed so with this we come to an end of this video in the series that was on fetching response code response header as well as the response body using the bean shell scripting hope you have liked it and do post all your questions suggestions in the comment section below so see you soon with more geometry related content until then have a great time thank you and have a good day